Hey guys, Sam from S Metal Rabbits here. I know it's the end of the holiday season and a lot of you probably have old Christmas trees. I'm sure many of you are way ahead of me and already know where I'm going with this, but if you don't, here's a fantastic use for your Christmas tree at the end of the season. Now these babies will last for months outside during the winter, so you can haul it over to where you keep your rabbits. And then every couple of days or so, you can lop off branches, you know, maybe split that in half, and feed it to your meat rabbits. And, you know, this isn't something I would do every day, per se, but definitely, uh, you know, once a week, twice a week, maybe. See how they like it. Uh, if they're not used to eating it, they may be a little hesitant. She's taking a bite right there. Also, they're a little mad at me. But uh, if they're uh, not used to the branches, they may be a little scared of them at first, but they'll get used to it. Now, the cool thing about this is that... Number one, in the winter, there's really not a lot of fresh options besides kitchen scraps. Definitely not fresh tree options. So this goes for most pine trees, with the exception of cedar that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, your rabbits can eat. There's a lot of interesting nutrients in pine trees, including uh, tannins. They're pretty acidic, and um, they also have a good amount of vitamin C and, believe it or not, a decent amount of sugar. So your rabbits will definitely eat them. And you'll see some go for it more than others, and that sort of tells me, you know, that those ones needed it a bit more. Every rabbit's different. I'm a firm believer in that animals kind of are instinctually guided to what they want if you provide them a uh, fair selection. So there's a big caveat to that statement is if they're starving, super hungry, they don't have any other options. Yes, most animals will eat what they have in front of them. And then that's where you get into trouble, and especially serious uh, conventional agriculture factory farming they have to be so careful with what they feed the animals because the animals are basically you know eating what they have in front of them and they don't really have a choice to kind of browse so that they can really quickly find themselves where they're eating too much of a certain nutrient or uh you know eating stuff they shouldn't and they have no choice but if you're giving your rabbits a good diverse diet you know solid commercial pellet kitchen scraps here and there hay every day um, and then you introduce stuff like this. You'll see some will browse. So you can see that red rabbit behind the black one. She's really going at it. You know, he's picking at it. And then the rest of these rabbits, see, she's picking at it. She's ignoring it, picking at it. So you can see who's interested and not interested. The other nice thing uh, about these kind of uh, branches and trees in general is when you feed the whole stick, especially those, you know, smaller than a finger length, uh, finger width or around a finger width, that's really fun for the rabbit to eat, number one. Number two, they will peel off the living tissue right below the bark, which is very nutritious and they definitely love. And then they'll use the remainder of the wood to kind of file down their teeth. So it's a triple benefit. Now, I know some of you may have heard pine trees are poisonous. You shouldn't feed your rabbits pine trees, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, here's what I say. Proof is in the pudding. The These rabbits, they get Christmas trees every year. I feed them pine trees in the winter and to a lesser extent in the summer. Uh, and I've had no issues. If you followed this channel, you know my mantra. If sheep can eat it, rabbits can eat it. So not goats, because goats are crazy, but, but sheep are a little more finicky than goats. And if they can eat it, a rabbit can definitely handle it. Uh, obviously use common sense here. The pine trees that I have the most experience with are white pine. And in this case, I believe this is a balsam fir or blue spruce. Um, both of those are common Christmas trees that often get fed. I haven't tried trees like hemlock, which I'd be a little bit more hesitant about. The only one I'd probably entirely avoid is cedar because uh, rabbits definitely don't like cedar shavings. Uh, and I assume that would apply to the leaves as well. The, the oil and cedar can be very irritating to a lot of different animals. So avoid cedar. But as a general rule, if you can't find information on rabbits when you Google the prime tree species that you want to feed, see if you have information on sheep. If it tells you that sheep shouldn't eat it, rabbits shouldn't either. If they can, then I'm sure rabbits will do fine. Once you know that, go ahead and take it slow, test it, put it in the cage, see if they're interested, see if they pick at it. And again, not all of them are going to. You can see she is an interesting example of why she's not picking at that. She's also one of my lighter eaters. The girl next to her will eat two times as much as she does, and she will only pick at things I put in there, whereas Chunky over there is chowing down. Same thing with my little black girl over here. So if some of the rabbits are eating it, then you know it's okay, obviously, if they're not dying or showing any kinds of distress. And again, assuming you've checked online and it's safe for sheep, and then it also takes a little bit for rabbits to get used to new food. So if they've never had it before, they may only pick at it. 
whereas uh, a couple of the rabbits in here have been here for multiple years and they go right for it because it's a nice treat in the winter. That being said, pine is not uh, not nearly as digestible as something like uh, black locusts or even maple leaves. So I don't feed it that much. Once or twice a week during the winter is plenty. It's a nice little change of pace for the rabbits. And a standard, you know, five, six foot Christmas tree like this, I've probably got about 20 or so adults right now because it's the winter. That'll last them. This tree will last them, you know, half the winter, depending on how aggressive I want to get with it. And they'll really love it. So don't let those Christmas trees go to waste. Be sure to use them. Two other quick little things on the tree. Number one, no tinsel, obviously. Um, if you... If your family demands tinsel like mine does, make sure you get all the tinsel off. A little piece hiding in there. I don't even know if you can see it. But that's kind of a pain, although it's easier once you cut the branches. Number two, and this is the biggie. Apparently in some places in the country, the Christmas tree sellers uh, spray the Christmas trees with flame retardant, which just doesn't make any sense to me. But that makes them totally poisonous to all animals. So be 100% sure that your Christmas tree does not have any kind of flame retardant spray on it. Otherwise, if you get the Christmas tree locally or you've got good information on where it's come from, go ahead and feed that to your rabbits. They're going to love it. They'll be grateful for it. It'll improve their health, and it will make winter a lot less boring for them. So that's all for today, guys. Just wanted to show you a great way to use your Christmas tree. Be sure to try it out. Otherwise, please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, any questions, leave me a comment. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.